Do you feel a little manipulated, betrayed, used? You think this is some grand master strategy? What? How are you feeling today? If you're a fan of both President Trump and the Second Amendment, how are you feeling? I'm sure the NRA feels a little used. Yesterday, the president sat down with congressional Democrats and Republicans to discuss ideas on how to prevent more mass shootings, something we should be doing. But how do we describe this other than an absolute constitutional nightmare? Trump took an extreme, (laughs) just an extreme hard left against the second, the fifth, the 14th, and I believe the fourth amendment. I mean, this is what we expected from other presidents, from the last president, right? That's what we expected. He didn't do it. In fact, what happened yesterday made President Obama look like Calvin Coolidge. This is an actual quote from the meeting. Take the guns first, then go through due process second, end quote. The president then proceeded to dump on the NRA, shoot down any idea of national concealed carry reciprocity. Say it for me. I can reciprocity. How did I ever get on the radio? I have no idea. No one else does either. If you're a gun owner or if you're a fan of the Constitution, this was the worst thing you would expect a U.S. president to say. Again, we expected this from Obama, but never expecting him to say it out loud in public. This guy did. And the reason why President Obama would have never said this in public if he believed that is because he knew every single person in the conservative media, every Republican, many NRA members who are Democrats would have called for his impeachment. Oh, let's just skip due process. Um, Let's see. Mussolini comes to mind. China comes to mind. Where else do we have this system? North Korea has a good system. Well, just forget about due process. Now, here's the thing. Some people believe and some people are making excuses. Some people are saying, yeah, but he was talking about the mentally ill. Okay. do you remember when we all went to bat for the president, when the headlines in The New York Times said things like Trump just made it easier for mentally ill people to buy guns? No, no, that's not what happened. What they were referring to was an Obama-era regulation mandating that people receiving disability payments from Social Security, which doesn't make you mentally ill, or receiving assistance to manage their benefits, their benefits, not their checkbook, their benefits, would have been reported to the federal gun background check system. It locked out tens of thousands of people, elderly people, from buying guns, not based on their mental capacity, but on the basis of being classified by the government in a certain way. Now, I don't think that was the original intent, but you can see how handling the issue of who is mentally ill and who isn't is a very slippery slope. Mike Pence yesterday was right. We have to figure this issue out. Nobody wants guns in the hands of mentally ill people. Nobody. Everybody that I know, every NRA member that I know, thinks that the the sheriff should have taken the guns away, I don't know, maybe on the third call? We have to figure this out. But eliminating due process and uh, uh, and neutering the Constitution is not the way to do it. You can't seize someone's property. You are guaranteed due process. Well, it takes a long time. That's the point. So we just aren't a lynch mob. Forget for just a second that this is all about guns. Replace guns with literally any other issue and read back the words. Take action first and then go through due process second. Throw him in jail. We all know he's going to murder. That's not who we are. That's how tyranny is born. I guess the good news here is that Trump has said just bat crap crazy things in the past. Oh, I want a clean DACA bill, but it never materialized. So either Trump is pulling off some extreme master negotiating strategy, combining the art of war with his own book, The Art of the Deal, or he doesn't know what he's talking about. And his gut reaction is not based in the Constitution. He was giving Democrats in the room what they wanted to hear. Either way, whether he's you know playing, I saw this online last night, He's playing four-dimensional chess. 
please, please. We're not going to see anything come of this, but this should be a huge red flag. If Obama would have said this, we would have been organizing ourselves in the streets. We either stand for the Constitution, stand by the rule of law, or we do not. We either call people out when they are wrong, no matter what side they're on, or we have no principles. So, you know, the Second Amendment is not going anywhere. But everybody should be calling the president out on this today. Support him when he is right, but call him out when he is wrong. And yesterday, he was very, very wrong.